Good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Kat. You have a delectable pastry for me today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very sort of unique um, it, for this. It is. I've actually never heard of it until I looked for this certain type of recipe. Okay. Um, I was looking for a recipe to make in a coffee cup. All right. <laughs> and, and you found? I found a coffee cup coffee cake. Okay. I thought it was so <laughs> cool. <laughs> so you've got all of your ingredients out here. So why don't you walk me through what, you're, what you have and what you're going to do. Okay. So you start with a tablespoon of butter. Okay. And, and you want to soften it so everything mixes well. Okay. Um, and next you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Mm-hmm. And then you get this all mixed together. And you're going to get a little bit of fluffiness out of it. Okay. <laughs> and then once you get it to this consistency, mm -hmm. you add about half of an egg. And this recipe actually doesn't need egg. Okay. But it makes it more cake-like okay. if you add an egg to it. So, you know, if a person doesn't eat eggs, fine not to add the egg. So, how did you do half of an egg? Did you just crack it and... And I went back and forth with it <laughs> <laughs> until I got only half of it. Okay. <laughs> Very too bad, too bad we didn't catch that on camera, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> the brandy egg dance. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of cream cheese. Oh. Now this can be substituted too. Um, I've seen people use applesauce. Okay. Um, or sour cream. And you chose cream cheese. Because why not? It's cream cheese, right? <laughs> it's cream yeah. cheese. What are you going to do? Yeah. And so this is one of the harder ingredients to work on. Get all blended. But worth it, right? Mm -hmm. I found this makes the recipe real, or the cake once it's cooked uh, really creamy. Okay. Very cryptically, that cream cheese would do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got it blended in there pretty well. It's a little bit chunky, but once the flour's in there, I think it'll mix better. Okay. And uh, when you tested this out, you said that having a little chunk of cream cheese every so often was kind of nice. Yes. Yeah. It was. Even my kids dug it. <laughs> okay. And so next you add a quarter cup of flour mm -hmm. and one eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. It's right there in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Nested. Yep. And then we'll get this mixed in nicely and then we'll start um, our crumb topping. Because okay. who wants coffee cake without the crumb mm -hmm. topping? So it's getting thicker. It's just like a mini cake batter, um, which is nice. You can make yourself a single serving. And we should note that we do have these ridiculously huge, huge coffee cups. Many people might not have them yeah. at home. Actually, you know, if you want it to like overflow, kind of like a muffin, uh -huh. like a muffin top over the top of a coffee cup, use a small one. Okay. If you want it all nicely in there, easy to stir, use a big coffee cup. Got it. Really up to you. So that's mixed in nicely. So I'll let this sit for a couple minutes. And we're going to move on to our crumb topping. So over here for the crumb topping, we have a tablespoon of butter. Mm -hmm. We have, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it's two tablespoons of flour in here, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And um, that's all going to mix together with the um, butter to make kind of the crumbly topping. Okay. Um, and just um, a couple drops of vanilla for flavor. Got it. And then you can do this part with your fingers or with a spoon. Um, you know, either way works well to get that kind of crumbly texture. You just want to make sure you get everything coated with butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why not, the, right? That's, that's a like rule for life, cheese. basically, yeah. right? Coat it all with butter. Everything coated with butter. Okay. So then we add this. Do you want to take your spoon out or...? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you want to microwave with that spoon in there. You know, metal and microwaves. <laughs> it's like fireworks. It just was 4th of July, so. <laughs> Let's keep the celebration going. Oh. So. So there we go. Try to get as much of it as 
as the top covered as you can, but that's pretty good because you can mix it again once it's cooked. Okay, cool. And so now we're going to throw this in the microwave for about a minute and 20 seconds. Cool. We'll be right back. Okay. So we're all baked up and ready to eat. Yes. So I put it in for about a minute and 20 seconds mm -hmm. and every microwave is different. So you just want it to make sure it's cooked thoroughly so you're not eating raw egg. Yeah. <laughs> I think the... ours is 1100 watts, the one that we have. So for, that's a reference point for folks. Can I get a spoonful? I'll get some more brown sugar on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got, can you do one for me? I can't really do with my left hand. <laughs> Luckily, I work well with my left hand. <laughs> exactly. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. It's a perfect I'm breakfast. so super easy. And you can wash it down mm -hmm. with a nice cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Hence the coffee cake. Mm. That is just fabulous. Mm. Really good. All right. I'll All right. <laughs> Come on in, Neil. Take a bite. <laughs> what is it? Coffee cup coffee cake. Mm. Looks like those scrambled eggs we made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the espresso machine. Doesn't taste mm. like them, though. Mm. Not good. Wash it down with mm. this. This makes it even better. A little mm. sip of some Twilight. Yeah. That is yummy. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of cinnamon, too, though. Yeah. You folks, when we were back cooking it, Gail's like, what is that? All incredulous. <laughs> See? You judged too early, didn't you? It wasn't the prettiest little we don't dude, care but... I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this, looks, this is good. I like it. Yeah. I'm glad we made breakfast for Gail. <laughs> Finally. Yes. We've done something nice for our boss. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Brandy. You're welcome, Kat. Thank you, Gail. Thank you.